For example, you can remove the background of your video without using green screen. You can also auto-generate captions. You can also have a website that will generate a script for your video. Then you can take that script to another platform that will generate a video from that script. So you can use just a single click to remove an object from a photo without going to Photoshop and other applications. So you can literally change your voice in real time, maybe when you're making a call or maybe you're recording a video. If you are ready to discover the application of AI in the platforms that you have mentioned, be sure to stick all the way up to the end. So the first platform I want to look at is CapCut. It's a video editing software which has become very popular especially with TikTok and uh, vertical video. And uh, let's just import several videos. I want to pick uh, which one? Uh, that one. And uh, let's pick another one. Like, uh, yeah, we now have two of them. And I can drag uh, the first one onto the timeline. Now it's there. What I want to do first is to generate the captions to automatically generate them. So you just highlight your video. Then uh, click on text. You can go to auto captions and uh, select the language. I am comfortable with English and uh, I don't have a current subtitle, so I'll just create one. It will take some time depending on the length of your video. And now we are done. And uh, actually, we did not have to like listen to the video and transcribe. It did that automatically and we can change and uh, let's see uh, actually the code. and um, you can see them here so you can uh, increase the size the font color uh, the style literally anything you can change anything that you want from uh, and now the captions we and are it took just past seconds. a thousand on youtube channel i really appreciate that so now that's generating the Captions. Now the next thing I want to do is to remove the background so that when I'm demonstrating something you can see it from my background. So highlight the video like that. Then on the video tab, go to cutouts and I click auto cutouts. It will process from 1% to 100. So depending on the size of your video, it might take several minutes or maybe longer. So we are going to give it time until we are done. So we are done and as you can see the background changed to black now what i want to do is to drag another video that's why we we go to media that's why i added this other video and uh, take it to behind the video like that don't just, do this I to manually i can uh, let's just mute the audio which one which one is uh yeah hi Hi very much. Before you actually scroll, thank you and thanks a lot. It's not perfect like you'd have in a, like a, when you're having a green screen in, and if you have a green screen, you'd just have to use the chroma key. But it's working. It's uh, very efficient, and uh, we just had very few clicks. You can just maybe if you have a longer video, you can just place it. And you can see it's really working. So that's CapCut for you. It has so many other features. Those are some of my favorites. You can go and look for more and uh, you'll just enjoy working and playing around with your videos in this platform. So the next one is ChatGPT from OpenAI. It's based on a GPT-3 language. So this is some of the things that it can do. And um, I'm sure you've come across videos explaining what it does, the limitation and everything. But right now, let's see whether we can be able to like generate something from it. Like a... Uh, what is open AI? The fact that we can get a lot of information from here is mind boggling. Like for example, we can just ask a random question like um why is the earth round? So actually I'm going to generate a script from uh, this chat GPT for our next platform.
So, um, this is one of the shortcomings that we have with ChatGPT. When it goes wrong, it will be totally wrong and it will be very confident about the wrong answer it's giving you. So, <laughs> so this is not what I was looking for, but uh, let's try to like um, edit our question better. Let's say... Sendesia will take in a script or just a written text and it will convert that into a video. It has so many avatars. So if I go to features and click AI avatars, you have so many of them. Like we have Emma. Hey there. I'm Emma and I can actually speak more than 50 languages here on Synthesia. This is a very realistic looking avatar. Let's go to... Hey there. Tony. I'm Tony. And I can actually speak more than 60 languages here on Synthesia. Wow. Okay. There are so many. Let's look at this guy. Hey there. I'm Mike and I can actually speak more than 50 languages here on Synthesia. It looks very For example, realistic. this is my default English voice. You can create an account now and start creating this kind of videos in five minutes. For gender equality, let's go to Sophia. Hey there. I'm Sophia. And I can actually speak Not more Sophia. than 50 languages Sophia. here on Synthesia. For example, this is my default English voice. You can create an account now and start creating this kind of videos in five minutes. So let's try to create one and see whether we can be able to like, uh, yeah, pray with it, create a video. Remember, we have a script that we copied from chat GPT. Let's, uh, I don't know how many characters, uh, there are too many, so we can just remove some of them. If I click on continue, it will ask for my name and the email because it's going to use the email to send me the, the generated uh, video. So I click on a confirm, yes, generate the video. So and this is what you get. We are generating you a video. The video will be sent to your email within a few minutes. Please take your uh, spam folder as well. So we're going to wait for the video. And uh, if you go to our email, Welcome to Synthesia, the revolutionary platform for creating avatar videos. Our state-of-the-art technology allows you to easily create a custom avatar that looks and speaks just like you. Simply up. I'm 100% sure that's the script that we copied from um, this, although it took some few lines. So, but you can see it picked our script and I made a video on it. So you can be able to like utilize this. To go out there and make videos. The next platform is cleanup.pictures. It's a very, very intelligent platform that will literally remove any object from your photo. They have some examples here. Let's pick the first one and see how that one works. I want to remove this pencil, highlight on it, and then release the mouse. It will take some few seconds and the pencil will disappear. Let's remove something else like uh, this pen, the whole of it. The pen disappears without a trace. Now let's go and uh, now demonstrate with an image which is more complex. Let's uh, take for example this one. I want to remove this thing here. Let's just remove everything. So you shade what you want to remove. Give it time after releasing the mouse and it will disappear. Although it's not perfect, you can see we have some artifacts here. But it's doing a really good job. So you can go back and try to refine the area again, just like that. And let's see whether we are going to get some improvements. Yeah, so some improvements, although we still have some artifacts. Anyway, it's doing a good job. Let's try something like which one? Like uh, this block here. It looks uh, like it will be able to like separate that completely and delete it. So we still have some artifacts. Now let's go and uh, pick a photo. So you're going to get two options. The first one is the free version. This other one is a paid one. So the paid version, you can be able to use high quality images and everything. But for demonstration today, the first one will be sufficient. So we are going to continue with the SD version. And uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. 
I want to remove this desktop. Just highlight everything on the desktop like that. Then release the mouse. It disappears, but we have a gray area left here. Very ugly looking artifact. Did it a second time. And the place look almost perfect. I can do it a third time to kind of make the place look a little bit better. So like you can see, literally, there's nothing. Apart from if you look carefully around here, you don't have the edge to my table. So yeah, I want also to remove, uh, I have cards on the wall. I want them to go away. But we're still getting some artifacts. I go there a second time. Yeah, that time, because we are still having the artifacts, they disappear completely. I want to remove this router. I don't know whether I'm having more fun here. Yeah, and you can see it's doing some good job. And you can remove the logo. Yeah, I can clean up a little bit. Yeah, so that's the beauty. You don't have to go to applications like um, Photoshop to go and uh, remove something from your photo. You can just come here. Although, now you'll have to work with a lower quality image if you're using the free version. If you want to work with a full resolution images, you just have to upgrade your plan. So the next one is voice mode. This is an application which you can be able to use to change your voice. So click on it, open it. I think it's a paid version. It has so many options here. Yeah. And uh, like you can see, you can change your voice to literally anything. Like for example, this is a voice. This is another one. This is another one. You can retry uh, 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 like it breathing in the water, talking there. Uh, zombie, there's so many. Although you love to buy the rest of the logs. Although you love to buy the ones which are logs, you'll have to let go and buy them. But this is a very interesting one, and it has some shortcuts which you can be able to configure. I don't know that, no, you can configure, maybe you can be able to like uh, turn it on or off. But those are the shortcuts. In case maybe you want to make a video, a funny video, or maybe you're making a call and you want to change your voice, that will be it. So those are some of the platforms that uses AI and we are barely scratching the surface. So do you think AI is here to replace or to encroach onto the unique feature that makes human beings to be human beings? Or it's here to make our life easier? Tell us in the comment region. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get to be notified every time we upload something as good as this. Until next time, peace.